Hello mate, welcome back. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to take your image series and turn them into a video. It's really quite simple. So you've got your selection of images from your Dash Studio render where you've chosen to output an image series. All you have to do is come into Photoshop, select File, select Scripts and select Load Files into Stack. Then you'll hit Browse and you'll choose the image files in your series starting at the first finishing at the last making sure that they're in the right order and then just hitting OK and they're going to appear into your browser into your file browser like this and you just hit OK then Photoshop's going to do a bit of a think and it's going to load every single one of those images into a separate layer while it's doing that you can notice that I'm actually in the motion workspace, which you can change, which I'll demonstrate momentarily. You can change by clicking in this button in the top right hand corner here that allows you to choose between your workspaces. Usually it'll be in essentials, but you switch to motion and then it will give you the animation timeline. This button here and this arrow next to it, if you select the arrow next to it, you can choose between a video timeline and a frame animation. We want to frame animation and then we're going to click on the create frame animation button and then our timeline will change. Now all we have to do is select this button on the right hand side here. This is the one that looks like four little lines next to each other. And we're going to select make frames from layers. And then Photoshop's going to have a bit of a think for about a fraction of a second. And then your timeline will be populated with all of your images. Now if you hit this, the play button, you can see that your animation will in fact play which is great and it just allows you to check that everything's in order. If you're happy that everything's in order, you can simply go to File, Export, and then you can go to Render Video and it'll come up with this option here. And you can see I've already got my directory set, but you can choose which folder you want to put it in. You can give it a name. I'm going to just call this one uh, demo.mp4. Set it to H.264, high quality, Choose your resolution. If your game's 1920 by 1080 like mine is, then that's obviously exactly what you want. Choose your frame rate. I've got 30 frames here, so if I leave that as 30, it's going to be a one second animation. You can always change that to increase the length. You could go to 10 if you wanted it to be a three second animation or whatever. And then all you have to do is hit the render button. It'll think for a fraction of a second and boom, that is, believe it or not, this series of images converted into a mp4 file already thanks very much for watching that guys i hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below and i will see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye